Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Berry Views today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from uh, Stone Brewing. This is their uh, Drew and Steve's Imperial Mutt Brown Ale. Uh, big beer at 9%. Uh, it says here it was bottled on April the 6th of 2015 and today is uh, April the 19th of 2017. So it's been in the bottle two, two years, a little over two years now. So. Uh, We'll see how well this beer has aged. Uh, this came from uh, Rico. Uh, so Rico, my brother, I do appreciate it, sir. All the wonderful beers you've sent me over the last year or so. Uh, you're a great friend, a true friend, and, and I consider you my brother. I really do. Uh, can't wait for you to come back down and visit again. Uh, this beer has a huge commercial description, which I am not going to spend... Uh, two minutes trying to read it. It's an Imperial Brown Ale and according to Beer Advocate it is retired. Uh, I don't know if they did it one time or if they've done it multiple times because Untapped has it at 8.9 percent and the bottle here has it at, uh, at 9 percent. Pretty close there. So Beer Advocate and Rate Beer actually has a correct ABV where Untapped, which usually does, has it incorrect. Uh, and I don't have the IBUs listed on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate and it's not listed on an untapped either, so we don't know what the IBUs are. But we're going to find out how well the beer is shallow. That's the main thing I want to tell you about. Uh, it's an imperial porter at 9%. Uh, so we'll see what it brings to the table here, guys. Uh, let's get it open. This is a bomber, 22 ouncer. Oh, and I dropped the cap on the floor. That's better than dropping the beer on the floor. Uh, let's get it into the glass, guys. <clears throat> Food pairing, cuisine is barbecue cheese with earthy Camembert Fontina. Your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby Parmesan. And it says here, it goes well with the chocolate dishes and the meat is beef. Glass wire, the pint back and on, come to mug, side Sidell. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today, guys, the Sovereign Beer Glass. It says here, not recommended for selling salary unless ABV stands average range. Well, it's 9%. I think that exceeds the average range. So, over to the light, about a half a finger of head on there. Didn't pour it too super aggressive. I didn't want five fingers of head. Now I'm getting a little red ribbiness down here on the thin part of the glass. I can see through it. But it's pretty dark up here on the big bowl part. Let's get a nose to it. Rich roasted malt. Hints of caramel and toffee. Maybe a little bit of brown sugar. It does have a nice sweetness to it. Smells a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit like a body wine with the uh, with the sweetness and the malt that I'm getting. Not getting a lot of nuttiness on the nose or or any kind of uh, dark fruit on the nose. But it's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, so that may come out as it warms up. It smells very sweet on on the nose. Well, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Nice khaki colored creamy looking head on top of it though. I'm getting some bittersweet chocolate on the taste. Maybe some hints of tobacco or licorice in there. Definitely got some nuttiness to it. Pretty tasty.
on the taste, ever so slight hint of maybe some dark fruits, maybe some raisins or prunes in there. Very pleasant. That is a very tasty beer, and it has settled very well. And I've had it for a while. I don't know how long ago. I didn't go through my paperwork to see if uh, uh, what Rico has said about the beer, because I've had it for a while now. So uh, let's let it warm up, and let me see what I think I've got to sip on it for a little bit. Uh, prime kind of to fire up a stogie to go with this, which I probably shall do. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this little left here. Tasty beer. Sell it very well for two years in the bottle. 9% Imperial Brown Ale. A uh, little bit of nuttiness in there. Roasted malt. Slight hint of some uh, dark fruit, maybe raisins or prunes. Uh, nice sweetness on the back end. Uh, caramel, toffee, maybe a little bit of molasses. Tasty beer. Very nice, very well done. I don't know why they retired it. Uh, this is a this is a good beer. And any of you guys that's got this in the cellar, it is cellaring very well. Uh, I can't see any reason why you couldn't cellar a little longer. Uh, uh, it is uh, it is not uh, it is not deteriorated at all as far as I'm concerned. Very very tasty. So uh, I enjoyed it. It's a very tasty beer, guys. Let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice slicing is left. Alcohol is super well hidden. A well done beer. Stone makes some really tasty beers, guys. They uh, uh, they do some well done beers. So uh, most of the stuff is very tasty. Uh, a lot of breweries do stuff off the chart and off the chain, this direction or that direction. Uh, everything, just about everything that I get from Stone i got a hair sticking up there. That, uh, that I've had is fairly tasty beer. So I, I've not had any drain pours or anything nasty or terrible from these guys. Final chug. Very nice. Great beer. To me, guys, uh, didn't blow me away, but I do think it's a well-crafted beer. Uh, I'm gonna give it to A minus. Uh, be an eight for me. Uh, numeric rating on this one would be. Uh, I'm gonna put it right at 90. Bottle on date is on there. Uh, gives you all the information, a little story on the back uh, about the beer. See if there's anything else pertinent I need to tell you about that I can see here. It says second annuals of the Spotlight series. Drink fresh or age at cellar temp. So cellar very well for two years, guys. Uh, like I said you could if you got it, you could drink it now, or you could let it cellar for two or three, four, five, maybe even longer down the road. Uh, not have any coffee or anything that's going to deteriorate as far as I can see or taste. Well done. Well, let's run over to Beer Advocate. They say 87 in a good range. I think it's a tad better than that. Uh, but, you know, a lot of the guys that do beer reviews and stuff, unless it really blows their hair back or their socks off or anything like that, they're not super impressed. Over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer has it at 94 overall and 84 in the style. Great numbers from those guys over there. I'm in between those two. And final check-in, we're we'll run over to Untapped. They have it at 3.81, which is in their B range. But also, they have it listed as 8.9%. So, I don't know which version they're showing. I didn't see a, a, a different version listed for this beer on, on their site. So, maybe that was the 2014 edition. I don't, I don't have any, I don't have an idea out there. But this is the 2015 edition. It's written right on the bottom. So, maybe the 2015 was a 9 or the... 14 or whenever they did it before it was a slightly lower ABV. So I enjoyed this very nice. Rico, thanks again, my brother. Guys, if you've got this or had this recently, let me know what you think. We'll back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the fridge. See you then.